Bud Grant might be the picture you put on the book that depicts Viking football over the last six decades. For sure. So why not a picture of Bud Grant of the Minnesota Historical Society, or better yet, a portrait? That's what they introduced this week. Felt that a portrait of Bud was really important to do. Mark Balmo would sit in Bud Grant's office years ago, talking and sketching and capturing and visiting. And he's a very thoughtful man, and he thinks about his words before they come out. And that's what I guess I try to express in the portrait. Here's a very thoughtful um, individual who really considers every word that he says. This is a man who has been commissioned to construct portraits of presidents of the United States. The kind of talent that impresses his subject. But I admire, the, as I mentioned earlier, that you know people who can do this kind of thing are people that I admire doing things that I can't do, that he can paint, Mark can paint Bowman, and uh, you know if he can play an instrument or sing, all things that I can't do, I admire those kind of people, and so it's quite an honor to have this here. You always have, though. You always thought coaching and playing sports were easy. A lot of other people don't think they're easy, and you always admired the people that did things you couldn't do. That's exactly that's exactly right. Sports came natural to me. And you might say the same for Balma. A product of the golden era of Viking football. When I look at the portrait, you know, it really takes me back to my childhood because I grew up with the Vikings every Sunday in our family living room, you know, as we watched those things. And I remember the pictures of, or, you know, the, the videos of, of Grant, but Grant there, on the field, you know, very stoic. And in the presidents and dignitaries that he's done, he sees and feels a presence much the same as Grant. Yeah, there's these one-on-one -on -one sittings in, you know, in a room with good, you know, and uh, and that's what we did. I, I, we had about a dozen sittings together, and our and we'd start. The, I would start painting, and we'd get into a conversation about could be anything. Some days it was about sports. Some days it was about hunting. It moves deeper than that for Grant to have family on hand for an unveiling at the Minnesota History Center. Being a Minnesotan, it means a little bit more to me maybe than some other people, but it's quite not, maybe the last honor I'll ever have, really, because I'm 94 years old now. They don't come very often now. That's why these days matter more, that a portrait will leave as a symbol, and it might even have an ancillary value. For an old man, yeah, it's kind of nice to, to uh, be honored in this way and to have your family involved in it. It's, it's maybe my last honor until my funeral. Is there any chance you could have prints of this made and, and uh, rekindle the garage sale? I was asking about them. I want, a, I want maybe 50 printed so I can sell them at my next garage sale. Sign, sign for a certain amount and then if you want them without... Uh, yeah, sign. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be signed in person. <laughs> <laughs> Bud hasn't had that garage sale for a couple of years because of COVID. But in talking to him the other day... You might want to pay attention in May because those prints may go on sale again in another Bud Grant garage sale. Yeah, you might want to have those around for a while, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm.